All My Puny Sorrows by Miriam Taves focuses on two very close and loving sisters who are dealing with depression, mental illness, and suicide. Elfrida is, um, is older, very sophisticated, very um, elegant, very accomplished. And Yoli doesn't have any of those. Her life is a bit of a mess. She's, you know, divorced. She's just struggling trying to raise her kids. The book is about, essentially, Elf um, wanting, to, wanting to die, wanting to... Um, she, she's suffered from depression, from mental illness, from despair, from existential angst, whatever you want to call it, uh, most of her life. And Yoli is trying desperately to keep her alive. And at some point in the book, Yoli realizes that perhaps that's not um, the true loving gesture. All right, so the brain is an organ that's made to solve problems. So if the problem is life and its unlivability, then a rational working brain would choose to end it, no? I didn't know what to do. It felt like someone was throwing darts at the side of my head, five seconds apart. You must want to live, you have to live. That's your one imperative, the single rule of the universe. Caves uses her own personal tragedies to draw a portrait of unselfish love and the trials and tribulations of life. In 2010, my sister committed suicide. As time went on, I realized that um, it, was, it was something that I had to um, write about and create some sort of narrative, some sort of give some sort of shape and, and order to that, the kind of chaos of that time. Despite the book's heavy nature, humor is used throughout, which makes the subject matter more approachable. Humor, I think, certainly, uh, and of course it's such a subjective thing, but you know, for me it's the way I write, it's the way I've always written, it's the way I see the world, and, um, and, and, and I think that it, was, it, it works uh, you know, particularly when dealing with these heavy subjects.